This video shows how an elementary student revises his thinking during a fifth grade science unit about circuits. Students initially recorded their thinking about how and why a flashlight would stop working if it were accidentally left on. Here one student explains his initial thinking about what would cause the light bulb to stop working. Listen to what kinds of experiences he draws on to make sense of why a bulb would stop working. So like the battery has like the energy stored inside it. After like all the energy is stored inside of the battery, that's what you need to set this up. And then when you have inside of the battery, there's like I noticed that to light it up, there's like a wire that's touching other wires that lights up. And like the wires are going inside like this little bubble that looks like a water bubble, but like it's hard on the outside but like watery in the inside like a pomegranate so i think without the uh wires inside of there it wouldn't be able to light up because nothing is touching the water to set it off and it would like uh electricity gets wet like a, a plug that has electricity in it when it gets wet it starts fire so i think that the other wires causing it to not cause fire just get like a little hot heating it and that would mean that's what gives us the light yeah so it's like a little bit of fire mixed with heat okay say yo Look. It's that water bulb like so small. Like I think I think if you overuse the light bulb too much, like the water the like the heat in there like forces it to heats it for the water thing to go off. Pause and reflect on what experiences this student used and what language he used to describe his hypothesis. This eliciting of students' initial ideas is part of the ambitious teaching framework. The framework includes four core science teaching practices. After the teacher plans for student engagement, the teacher elicits students' ideas. In the prior clip, you saw how students had materials to build circuits and a drawing scaffold to create models of their thinking. After eliciting ideas, the teacher engages students in a series of activities and investigations to support ongoing changes in their thinking. In the circuits unit, students built their own batteries, tested conductors and non-conductors, observed parts inside light bulbs, learned about electrons, and gathered evidence for how and why batteries, light bulbs, and wires all work together to make a circuit. In this next clip, we hear from the same student again near the end of the circuits unit after eight days of sense-making activities. Listen to how he now describes how a circuit works. Well, before I thought that the glass bead that was in between the wires that held up the filament was like it had water in it and when it got wet it like caused the wires to make something catch on fire. But now, because I reached out over that thought and it wasn't very reasonable. So now that I think that that glass bead, what it's used for is once the energy travels through the battery, it goes through the wire, once it does that, and then, hold on, hold on, hold on. then the battery, I mean the light bulb. Alright, then once it goes to the light bulb, it like has energy that makes the light bulb like get hot and once it gets hot it travels through the wires and gets up to the filament and the filament is kind of like it's in an oven or in a, um, a, a toast toaster it has like those uh, filaments inside that get really hot and what I think is when it get really hot it causes a little bit of light and how it makes a lot of light is because the, uh, the uh, glass bead that's in the middle of the uh, the two wires it like reflects off of that uh, glass bead it makes it brighter okay so you heard the light bulb so how does the energy get to the light bulb um, and where does it come from it comes from the battery and it like from the electron side of the battery once you uh, set them off by like plugging the battery to something that's gonna make it um, cause it to turn on once you do that it like starts going through everything the electrons it could be if you had metal plastic or anything does it something, go through everything no it doesn't go through everything it just goes through mostly metals and once it once it like gets set off and it's something that's conductor it goes it goes all the way through it and
This student provides one example of how student thinking shifts over a unit of instruction. This happens when students are engaged together in co-constructing understanding that aims for explanations that not only tell what happened, but also explains how and why a particular phenomenon occurred. This kind of sense-making talk aimed at building explanations with a focus on cause and effect relationships are part of the next generation science standards. The circus unit also addresses the energy strand. For more information about ambitious science teaching, please visit our website at toolsforteachingscience.org.